Last month, we asked our listeners to spread hope by responding to the Hope in Your Hands promotion, highlighting some worthy organizations who offer hope to their communities. In that vein, From the Heartland continues to share more light on those we've asked you to help. This week, we take a deeper look at Emporia, Kansas, Shiloh Home of Hope for Women. Carol Alderman is director of this residential center for single moms and their kids. She says the facility was birthed out of a desire of a local pregnancy care center director to do more for young mothers. Their lives were very difficult and they were struggling in a lot of ways. God just put it on our heart. Was there something that could be done for these families where they could work on their lives and stabilizing their lives? And then meanwhile, my husband and I had been foster parents and we had adopted a child out of foster care and felt a strong calling on our lives that he wanted us to serve him full time. In 2018, Shiloh Home of Hope got its start. So the idea of God wanted this to happen, a home where we would bring in single moms and their kids, was born and then he just led that. Really lots of different miracles truly to to give us this house and start the ministry. Housed in a 12,000 square foot home, Shiloh can take in as many as six families at one time, although it's typical to have four families under their roof. Alderman says their goal is to mentor and disciple them through their struggles. And they're also asked to make a commitment to stay at least six months. A lot of them, it might be some addiction issues or patterns of domestic violence. Almost all, but not all, have come out of some sort of abuse. So they have a lot of trauma in their past as as children or as adults or both. We have had several who have aged out of the foster care system and just didn't have the support and the life skills to parent or to navigate the world. Precious Trombley is one such person. This single mom of three currently resides at the home and says she turned to Shiloh when it appeared her life was coming apart. I lost my job and then I was behind two months on rent, which led me to being made to leave my apartment, understandably so. She calls her time at Shiloh a God thing. I was filling out the application and we were just talking in this room that we're in right now. And I just remember being like, I'm supposed to be here. Like God told me I've been praying. I know I'm supposed to be here. I don't have to worry about food. I don't have to worry about rent. I don't have to worry about utilities. And that's a huge stress relief. Like right now, I'm in the process of doing things that I might not have had the opportunity to do or that I might have struggled to do if I were out on my own. That's right. Those who stay at Shiloh Home of Hope do so for free. Alderman says God has provided the resources needed largely through the support of donations and the work of volunteers who have a heart for lifting up women and their children. Shiloh takes no government funding. Instead, Carol says prayer is the foundation for the home's success. We experience a lot of spiritual warfare um, for the ministry itself, for those we serve. So the more prayers we get, the better. We need them. Carol says the ministry has been able to help 65 families since it first opened its doors. Although their needs are many, she says she's also confident in the mission of the home to stand with families. Precious says she can see it working in her life. Everybody is just so warm, loving, and welcoming, and just very encouraging, and we fellowship, and I think that that is important too, and I know that when I do leave Shiloh House, that I have a support system filled with people who do love me and the girls, and who do have our best interests at heart. You can see more about this difference-making ministry when you go online to shilohomeofhope.org. Reporting for Great Plains Christian Radio, I'm Delvin Kinser.